you've ever been out for walks or hikes, chances are you would have spotted one of these fascinating critters, the common tree shrew. From Bukit Timah Nature Reserve and Bukit Batok Nature Park to Singapore Botanic Gardens and the Southern Ridges. Have you ever wondered how these creatures move between habitats and travel great distances? Well, this is thanks in part to the wonders of ecological connectivity. Ecological connectivity is the concept of creating linkage between habitats through nature corridors, consisting of routes to facilitate the movement of animals. You might ask, why is strengthening ecological connectivity important? By helping biodiversity intermingle more freely, we help diversify the gene pool and protect our natural spaces by strengthening our ecological resilience and sustainability. A prime example is the Ecolink at BKE, which helps to connect the forest of Bukit Timah Nature Reserve with that of the Central Catchment Nature Reserve. But that's not all. Nature waves were created to harness the interconnectivity of Singapore's roads to pave the way for biodiversity. Nature waves adopt a tiered planting structure of native plants that mimics the tropical rainforest, with a shrub layer, understory layer, and canopy layer, as well as trees that can grow above the canopy layer and form the emergent layer. This beautifies the roads for pedestrians and road users while providing shelter and food to various animals from butterflies to nectar-loving birds. This also makes Singapore streets cooler and enhances resilience against urbanisation. Currently, we have 34 nature ways in Singapore, stretching over 100 kilometres. We hope to eventually turn every road in Singapore into a nature way. Do you know what are some of the plants and trees we can find along our nature ways? The crimson Puchokmera, which provides a habitat and food source for fauna, such as butterflies, insects, spiders and birds, the green small-leaved oil fruit that turns bluish-green upon maturity, and the dipterocarps, forest giants that provide food for canopy-dwelling insectivorous birds and nesting sites for eagles and raptors. We've talked about how connected spaces allow our biodiversity to thrive, but where do all our plants and animals come from? Singapore has become a highly urbanised country but we have been able to conserve pockets of pristine natural habitats in our nature reserves. We have the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, Central Catchment Nature Reserve, Labrador Nature Reserve, and the Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve. These reserves are home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including rare and endangered species, such as the Sunda pangolin and Raffles banded langur. To further safeguard these core biodiversity areas, Nature Park networks have been established to serve as buffers against encroachment and to extend our natural capital. In August 2020, the Sungai Bolo Nature Park Network was established to strengthen ecological connectivity among the wetland habitats in the northern part of Singapore. The network aims to protect a variety of complementary wetland habitats such as mangroves, mudflats and freshwater marshes. This will help to promote a healthy and resilient ecosystem that allows native biodiversity and migratory shelbeds to thrive. That's right, and we can think of these linkages as a way to connect habitats together to cultivate biodiversity. Old Upper Thompson Road was enhanced to provide better ecological connectivity between the Central Catchment Nature Reserve and Thompson Nature Park. Road bridges were installed to help animals connect through the treetops, while culverts were provided for small mammals to cross safely. In addition, the road animal detection system was installed to minimise wildlife vehicle collisions. The results were very encouraging, with documented evidence that animals were able to travel safely across Old Upper Thompson Road. Ecological connectivity is one of the many ways we are helping to conserve our natural heritage. And you can also be a part of this transformative journey. Join us in planting trees in our parks, gardens and nature reserves as part of our One Million Trees movement. We also have many other initiatives for the community to help conserve Singapore's natural heritage. Together, we can transform Singapore into a city in nature today.